This is how to install Linux Mint, the longer version. We saw the positive feedback on the short, so this is now a longer version and there will be more content. So for those of you who didn't catch the entirety of the short or haven't watched the short and want to take it a bit slower, link to the short is below and now we're going to do it the long way. Hello guys, I think for the last report on the Linux Mint, uh, <laughs> Linux Mint short, and uh, we now decided to make a longer form video in case you couldn't follow it. So let's get going. First, go to your favorite browser. Ah oh, yes, Microsoft Linux. Edge, my favorite browser. Well, that's a fresh install of Linux, so what do you want of, of Windows? <laughs> what do you want me to do? So first, you want to go to the home page. Yes. And download the ISO. You want to click download on any edition that you feel like but for us we will be going for the cinnamon edition is that's the one you should get unless you have like an <laughs> i suppose to say unless you have an awful pc and apparently we do because just shut off so. <laughs> just restarted oh my god you can download you get information about your install size you click down and then you find your location so your general area that'd be your fastest download and now you just sit here and wait until it's done downloading. In the meantime, actually, you want to go over to the Berliner Etcher download. Just click on the first link. You download Etcher. And yeah, download blah, blah, your... blah. You just uh, do the stuff in the right thing and then the thing happens and then you use the thing to make the thing. And then you uh, shut the fuck up because I was the one talking. While that, that, while that happens, you take your USB stick it has to be at least 8 gigs, what uh, Mint recommends. <laughs> nice one. And We're going to get a full in-depth shot of the um, the, the, the spray thing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, nice. Okay, and then you will take your USB stick and plug it in. Yep, and then you get an installation has failed. And then error. it still starts up in the, in the end. Don't worry, that happens. It's quite common. Yeah, you get the DPD logo. You load that how that how do you think I can record this with the screen there and then you're all the way up here like th th it's impossible Do you want me to like <laughs> come all the way back here and then there you go like yeah yeah record like that You click fast from file after you install Berliner Etcher when you double click it you go to your downloads or wherever you downloaded your ISO file You click on it or double click Or fail to double click and and then nothing happens that <laughs> yeah yep. yeah that happens yep so you, you click on the ISO that you want want to download, and then you click on the USB that you want to do. Yes, which is our SanDisk Cruiser Blade USB device. For us, yeah. Yeah, and then you click Flash. Click yes, uh, and now you just wait. So that's finished downloading. Please take the fuck away. <laughs> so now we'll be removing the USB stick. Plug it back into a machine. Oh my god, that was so smooth. That was straight in. <laughs> you never plug in a USB first try. It's always the third time. Then you turn your PC on. You might have to press either F8 or F12. Right, so now once you're in the Linux Mint uh, grub, yeah, you can go start with Linux Mint or start Linux Mint in compatibility mode. I would personally, we would recommend just go in the normal Mint because that tends to be the most reliable. Personally, we would recommend you shut up and literally just click install Linux Mint. Like it's, it, it's not a big deal. If you have, a, if you do have an error with the normal one, go in compatibility mode. Yeah, and then follow another tutorial. <laughs> no, that we might not make. I don't know. We'll see. No, like as in any other tutorial. Actually, you should probably just do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know why you're watching this. And yeah, we appreciate it. If you come this far, we do very much appreciate it. Actually, yeah. Anyone who's watched this far, like, what are you doing? <laughs> I just have nothing better to do. Go, okay, go watch okay. the short. Yeah, yeah, go go watch the short and try and send them there. If you can't send them there, just come back. Or watch that one a couple of times, then come back here. And then rewatch it twice. Then we'll be very thankful for it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In fact, if you could just go back and watch all the videos on this channel. And can you press that big red subscribe button that's not red anymore? Yeah. It's white. So once you're here, you will just have a yeah, single... Yeah, there's... This, this, this one little thing, you can't miss it. You just double-click that. So, you have your install window. You will click on your la your language of choice. Just click continue. Find your keyboard layout. That's the wrong one, but we don't care. We don't care. Click on the one that you have. So for us, it would be the UK one, obviously. But yeah, uh, install multimedia codecs. We just we won't do a boot, so we'll just click 
in store now. Actually, just do that. We have nothing to lose on this anyway. Yeah, anyway, just just click erase disk and install. But yeah. obviously, fair warning, you will lose all your data that's yes. on Windows if you select that drive. Just fill in your information, make your password, click continue, and you just wait. So essentially, that's been the long version of installing Linux Mint. You can see I've got it uh, going behind me. Uh, that is now fully booted up and working. So... We enjoyed that. I hope that was fun to watch. Um, make sure you check out our other videos, including the short on how to do this, and also how to install Pop! OS, which is generally better for NVIDIA graphics cards and gaming. Uh, and let us know if there's any other operating systems you want us to cover, and just let us know if there's anything else in general you want us to cover. We've got a plethora of things we do on this channel, including gaming, if you like Five Nights at Freddy's or anything like that. Please do check out the channel below, and uh, yeah, as I said in the video, please subscribe, it would be great, uh, we're trying to get to, well, basically we're trying to get to 20 subscribers, because currently we're on 16, but we're trying to grow, we're trying to do well, so yeah, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that'd be great, and I guess turn on the notifications, I'm not exactly sure what that does, but that's what all the YouTubers say, so yeah, thanks, see you later.